welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we are here at the uh, Bloomfield Cemetery in Bloomfield, New Jersey. If it's cemetery is open to the public. Um, it's in, it's in a national it's national regist registries of uh, historic landmarks. Uh, it's it's because of the. I'll, I'll pan around in a minute um, because of the Victorian uh, architecture here. And you know me, I get giddy when you with Victorian. Um, so we're going to go over to the old section. Um, there are people buried here, uh, veterans of the of the Re American Revolutionary War are buried here. This is how far back the cemetery goes. Um, so I thought we would sp spend the day. nice that they really maintain this cemetery. And we will find a spot and we will do try to talk. Here, who is this? We got the Warren family. father's over here and probably the children now we're going to focus on the older graves oh here's the Dodd Dodd it was uh, an important family here in the area uh, there are various streets named after the Dodd family Died May 24th, 1835. And there's Eliza. Oh, so Alicia is a man. So I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. My, and then Eliza M., his wife, born March 11th, 1838. And died May 20th, who don't have any living family. I would, you know, I wouldn't talk to anybody if I didn't have permission from the family. So, okay, we got some veterans here over here. World War II. Ralph Silverbrand, Illinois, First Lieutenant Infantry, November 15th, 1892, February 25th, 1944. Thank you, sir, for your service. We won the war, by the way. So we got uh, veterans over here. So as always, thank you for your service. to the old section. This is where I want to put 
put our focus in. Coming up, is this it? Yes, I think this is it. This is really interesting. This was, let me see. Oh, well. Whoop, I'm sorry. This was, um, kind of a holding place. This is where if coffins were kept here, that's here at Petitaboro Airport. Um, coffins were kept here until the graves could be dug. So probably maybe like in the winter when the ground was frozen, coffins often probably had to be stored here. So, I thought this was very interesting. All right. Oh, come across another. Oh, no, 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 this is a vault over here. There's a vault for the Gardner family. Let's try here. Anybody, anybody? My name is Liz. I come in peace and love. I'm not here to harm you or make you go away or anything. Um, I'm just here to say hello. Is there anybody from the Gardner family here? Park, yes. It's kind of like a park. Is there anybody here from the Gardner family still here who wishes to step forward and just say hello? She won't leave. <laughs> young. Young. Oh, I'm young. Thank you. I'll leave in a minute. If you don't want to talk. This to... fall. His fault. What's his fault? Liz. Liz. Yes. That's my name. Thank you very much. What is your name? I'm assuming your last name is Gardner. What is your first name? Really nice spot you got that you're here. I mean, it's quiet over here. You've got a nice shade. 
very peaceful. I like it. Even, you know, you step outside and it's all busy traffic and all that, but once you step here, it's very quiet and very peaceful. So, I can see why you like it here. You don't want to talk, that's okay. Affirmations from the Gardner family. Let's keep walking along and see what else we come across. who might be Kiza Ward. like to talk. Here. Over here we got more members of the Dodd family. there's a spirit hanging around the dog but Dodd family probably has living family so and I don't as I said I don't want to talk to any if they have living relatives but I wouldn't do that without their permission Ooh, what's up here this looks good oaks here. We got the Oaks family here. 
this is some Thomas Oakes, born 1838, died 1924. Julia, she must have remarried. Julia G. Max, wife of Thomas Oakes, born 1842, died 1925. It's kind of interesting that they're buried on <laughs> opposite sides here, the pathway. Abigail H. Oh, I think we've hit pay dirt. Mary Oaks, wife of Maurice Boyd. Oh, look at this. 1869 MC Boyd, which buried in Tioma, Sicily, 1949. Oh, they probably had a child who died in World War II and is probably, is probably buried in Italy. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Harry T. Thomas Oakes. 1777-1823. set up shop here. Sarah Oaks. Sorry about that. Uh, Sarah Oaks, wife of C. Van, died January 1st, 1858, 24. Poor thing. Harriet, 1885. Okay. Hello, my name is Liz. Uh, I am a friend. Tennis. Tennis. There's no tennis here, honey. Um, is there any member of the Oaks family who wishes to step forward and say hello? I come in peace and I come in love. Um, I'm not here to hurt you or harm you. Just to just say hello. So is there any member of George Oaks? Is there Harriet? Not feeling well. You're not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember, um, the who's ever the woman is buried here. She died at 24. So <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not feeling well. Who's here with us? Cheating. Cheating. Uh oh. Did somebody cheat on their spouse? Is somebody here remember the Oaks family up to no good? I'm not here to judge. It's not my job. It all happened a long time ago, so. So did somebody cheat on their spouse? Park. Park, I got park again. Yeah, it's like a park. Who's here with me? What is your name? My name is Liz. I understand that this positive. is- Positive. Yes. It's always good to think positive. Zaina, um, I know this is strange, 
But if you talk... It's unknown. What's unknown? What's unknown? Somebody cheat on their spouse? Or did you do the cheating? Maybe you're cheating at card games. Okay. I'm still your friend. It's, I'm not here to judge. Not my job. Well, she's really nice around here. Leave it louder. Louder? Leave what? Who's here with me? You don't want to say your name. Are you male or female? Do you know what year it is? We're not getting much from the Oaks family, which is all right. Portrait. <laughs> keep recording. Oh, keep recording. Okay. I won't. <laughs> I won't stop recording. But if you want me to keep recording, sweetheart, you're going to have to talk. Swing. Swing. See if I can set this up here for a minute. Not here. Not here? Who's not here? the balls. I really should get new ones to make sure the batteries are fresh. Um, we'll move in a minute. I'll keep the balls wherever you could wear in shape. Sorry, you gotta Again. Butt. Simon. Simon? Did we just get a Simon? Did we just get a name? We'll move in a minute. I'm sorry you had to see my big butt. Early. Early. Did we get Simon? Was that I said no. You said no. Dead. Dead. So you know you're dead. Okay, that's good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We'll put the balls down here. Now, B. I didn't catch that word. I'll have to look at it later. All right, now I brought two little balls that you can make move with your energy. Just a kind of a way to see, just kind of make them move. Put here in the shade so we can see them. See, aren't they pretty? If you use your energy and make them move, they'll light up. Can you do that? Make the balls move. School. School. Did we 
again Simon before? I didn't recognize that name from the Oaks family. Anybody from the Oaks family here? Ralph. Ralph. Okay. Can you make the balls move? Library. Library. I'm not sure how. All you gotta do is use your energy. Here. I gotta move them over here. Just an, another way just to let us know you're here. Just take your energy and kind of go and just kind of make a move. It's bright. It is bright outside. It's also very warm today. It's a nice summer day. First. First. Maybe I'm too close. Can you make the balls move? Anybody from the Oaks family here? Somebody said they knew they were dead, which is good. You are listening. I am listening. So you can talk all you want. I'm here. And if you like me coming here, I'll come back. Brenda. Brenda. Sit down. I am sitting down. Can you make the balls move, Brenda? This is not really an ideal setup, so I'm not really going to worry about it if they can't. Only for you. Only for me. Okay. Can you make the balls move? Okay. Okay. Now, they could be trying to make the balls move, so... Use your energy and make them make the balls light up. You don't have to. It won't take much. America. America. That's right. You're one of the early hell. Hail. One of the early settlers, what, one of you was born here in 1777, around the birth of our nation. My, one side of the family, my mother's side of the family go, also goes all the way back to the revolution. America. America.
I'm wondering because we have veterans buried here. Are, we, are you a veteran? Did you, were you a soldier in, 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 in a war? Were you a soldier in the American Revolutionary War? We might be talking to somebody who's not even part of the Oaks family. Are you a veteran? Did you work in the Revolutionary War? Take a look. I'm not sitting right behind the camera. Here, I'll just this way so I can see it. Can you make the balls move? If you were very brave in the and fought in the war for our country, thank you very much. Thank you for your service. Can you make the balls move? What happened? I don't know, honey. Were you killed in the war? We might, I, I'm beginning to think we're not even talking about we got somebody else here, which is fine. What? Are, are you a soldier? Can you make the balls light up so that we know that you're here? Doesn't take much. Make them light up those pretty, pretty colors. Window. Window. Window into your soul. Are you trying to make the balls move? We just want just another way to let you know uh, to let us know that you're here please go all right I will we'll stop for now tell me about it tell you about it well you just tell me to go we're gonna move on and see who else is here and wants to talk okay So we'll see you later. To your left. To my left. Okay. Remember before we got the name Ralph? Ralph Baldwin. He was right here laying next to the Oaks family where we were before. He's right now, he's right. So, I normally don't like to, Ralph, are you here? Were we talking to you before? Do you want to say hello? Right. Stephen. Stephen. Okay. I was walking away and all of a sudden I had this, didn't realize it was still, 
and all of a sudden I heard come back so Steven okay why is he here why is who here you got the man cutting the grass so your your home looks nice and who's Steven I came back. If I come back though, you're gonna have to say talk. Your name is Steven, okay. Is this where, you, is this where uh, you're laid to rest, Steven? hunting in the cemetery. Don't come on the days they're mowing the lawn. <laughs> I have to remember this. All right. Obviously a grave of an infant or a small child. Poor little thing. All right. Kind of moved. Hopefully we can get away from uh, the lawn mowers for a while. But that was interesting. Um, when I was trying to talk before we got the name Ralph and right next to the Oaks family plot is the Baldwin family plot with a member of the family named Ralph. So, we'll have to, we'll try again with Ralph another day. A lot of members of the Dodd family here. More members of the Dodd family.
small graves over here. I'm wondering if these were children. That's always so sad to see. All right, we'll end it here. It's enough for one day. Um, nothing else. We got some beautiful deer. watching me. So for um, entertainment purposes only, thank you to all my new subscribers. Oh, yep, there is three. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll come back. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video.